everyone, it's Andrea and I thought I would do a flip through of the Marilyn Monroe adult colouring book that I showed you in my haul. Um, so this is sort of a Marilyn fans and for colouring fans. It, this is a cheap book that has print, been printed by Amazon, so in Great Britain. So it's sort of like create space, it's that cheap paper. Um, so this is kind of for my Marilyn book collection. Um, I will colour it, but I will copy the pages onto cardstock and make them bigger if possible, or if not, just colour it onto cardstock and, and do it that way when I find the thing for my scanner, because it's missing. But I will. So I thought I would go through this one for you and we'd look at the pictures of Marilyn. So there are lots of these sorts of books out at the moment, which feature different stars, um, but this one is the Marilyn one. <laughs> Obviously, because I collect Marilyn, so... Um, these are very highly pixelated pictures, uh, and I don't know whether that's just down to cheap reproduction or whatever, but this one is based on a photograph from 1953. <laughs> and this is a nice art drawing. So this is somebody, something somebody's drawn, and I quite like these ones. I actually prefer these ones, the photo representation ones, because they're not that good. If I wanted to do a photograph of Marilyn colouring, I could get a photograph of Marilyn from my collection and uh, scan it as a grayscale. I've never tried that, but I will. And on this side, we've got a picture from the Seven Year Itch. Again, it's an artist's representation of her. And this is uh, Marilyn in bed. This is based on a famous photograph of her. She's in bed. And on next to her on the dressing table or on the side table is a bottle of Chanel number no. five. And these are all very early Marilyn's. These are all like from the 19, early 1950s. So we're looking at 53, 52, 53. 54. Again, this is one is more based on various actresses rather than Marilyn, but it's still a representation of the Seven Year Rich scheme scene. I can't even say it. So again, here's Marilyn from 1953. This is based on a photograph. This is a very nice one. Based on a photograph, but it's something somebody's drawn. And in fact, there is a rubber stamp that you can get of this one that I've seen. Again, a simple line drawing. I don't know whether these have just been downloaded from the internet and pasted together in a book. It's very possible that that's what's happened here. Um, and again, these are all based on photographs from 1953. So some of them are, are, are repetitive, but that doesn't really matter. I quite like them. So that's sort of like a caricaturist one, sort of almost like a Jessica Rabbit type Marilyn. This is uh, one of the oldest type of pictures in the book. I'm going to cover those up. <laughs> and this is based on the Burt Stone picture from 1962. And on the other side, we have Marilyn as Supergirl on the greeting. Very, very nice. I can't turn the pages. Again, a simple line drawing one. And this is uh, based on a photo of her taken during publicity for bus stop or costume test for bus stop. And that's a Shahri. This is one of those really uh, weird ones where they've got all the different things for you to colour in a little, and I don't get them, but hey. Based on a Milton Green photo, as is this one. This one's actually in here a lot, in various guises. Again, the Golden May. Caricature of Marilyn, which is kind of cute. Seven Year Rich, most famous scene. Again, this is the one that's based on the photo of Susan Griffiths. But still, it's a nice grayscale. Then we have another caricature of her sitting on her name. Very famous picture from 1953. And another sort of like line drawing one. I kind of like these ones, these are kind of cute. So there's quite a lot of pictures in here. They're not very, I'm not actually sure about this one. I don't even think it's meant to, it doesn't even look anything like her. So I think it's just something that somebody's downloaded from somewhere and put it in because it's uh, a uh, woman with light hair wearing a 50s dress, so why not? The rest of them, uh, I can tell which pictures they've been based on. <laughs> and there we have another one. Then there's a blank page, no idea why. And we go on to another one that's based on a photograph. We've got a Sugar Skull Day of the Dead Marilyn type thing. I don't know. I kind of like that. I'm not big on Day of the Dead, but <laughs> and I know a lot of people don't like the Marilyn ones, but it's not overdone. It's kind of simple. I could kind of see Marilyn doing that at Halloween these days if she was around <laughs> just dressing up like that. She wouldn't have then, but now she would have. Again, we have, this is the uh, ballerina sitting by Milton Green, a caricature of Marilyn Seven Year Rich, which is a bit faded, but hey, who cares? 
again the ballerina sitting by Milton Green and this one is the final picture and quite fittingly it's also the final scene from the film Seven Year Rich where she's leaning out the window with Tom Yule's shoes and that's a, supposed to be a representation of Tom Yule. Poor Tom, doesn't look anything like him. So that is the Marilyn Monroe adult colouring book, so a blank on the front. It's very small compared to, if I get Jade, one of the Jade Summer books here, you can see it's very small. So like purse size, you could take it on holiday with you with a few pencils and just play around with it and it wouldn't be too bad. So. That's the Marilyn Monroe Adult Colouring Book that I picked up on Amazon. So if you want to get a copy of it, if you just go to Amazon and type in Marilyn Monroe Colouring Book, it will pop up. Um, but like I said, I will be copying the pages onto cardstock if I'm going to colour it. And it will be going onto my Marilyn bookshelf. It will be part of my Marilyn collection. So you'll probably see this again in a Marilyn book haul in a few months when I've got enough books. Because I always do that at 10 books I'm only on. Well, with that one, four. Uh, so that's it for this flip through. If you've liked it, give me uh, a thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments down in the in, in the comments link below. Um, don't forget to share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you all soon. Thanks then. Bye.